Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to reset your network adapter using the command line. So let's say you were trying to fix a network or internet connection and you can't get to the GUI or something's freezing up, you could try out this method. Alright, so on this computer here we have a Wi-Fi connection and an Ethernet connection. So Wi-Fi is enabled and also the Ethernet down here. Alright, so what we need to do is open an administrator command prompt, so CMD run as administrator or right click run as administrator okay all right so the first command we're going to run is net sh interface show interface so we can see our adapters here so we're going to copy that right click paste it in all right so we have ethernet 0 and wi-fi which match what we see here all right, so then the next command is net sh interface set interface with the interface name in quotes, admin equals disable to disable it. So we're going to do that for Ethernet. So I already have it here. So I can just copy and paste it in. All right, so now if we go back here, you can see it goes away because it's not enabled anymore. And if we do this, we can see it's disconnected. And if we do the same thing for Wi-Fi, for example, just for fun. You can see we lost our connection there. And Wi-Fi is disconnected there. Alright, so now to enable it, we just need to do the same thing but change disable to enable. So we'll do this for Ethernet first. All right, so you see the Ethernet connection came back, and it's connected there. Now we'll do the same thing for Wi-Fi. So the wireless might take a little bit longer to come back up because it has to reconnect to your wireless connection. So you can see it's thinking there, so it's not showing up in this part yet. So let's uh, see what the status shows here. So you can see it's still disconnected, so it'll take a minute. So we could just keep running it until it says enabled, or we could just wait a minute. And if it doesn't reconnect, you might have to come back here and click on connect. So just keep that in mind. Now we have the wireless back there. Now they're both connected. So hopefully if you have to use this and you only have a command line, you're not going to have to worry about trying to reconnect the wireless uh, from the GUI here from the corner. Hopefully it'll just reconnect on its own. All right, so once again, use this command here to show the interfaces. And then this command to disable it, obviously change this name to match here. And then this command to enable it once again with the same interface name change right there. All right, so I'll put these in the description. So you can just copy and paste them and then just add your own information and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.